Question 21. And uh, let's see, we've got a right angle triangle here. And we've got an angle of 42 degrees and this side is 9.3 centimetres. And it's asking us to find the length of LM. LM. This looks like trigonometry to me. Um, some people get trigonometry and Pythagoras confused. The difference is, is that this one has, has an angle involved. And you can't use angles with Pythagoras. So this is definitely trigonometry. Now I'm going to label this up um, in the usual way. Okay, So we look at the angle. We go opposite the angle. And that's the opposite you would expect. And this is the side that we're trying to find, isn't it? This one. Uh, this one here that we've been given is the hypotenuse because it's the side which is opposite the right angle or it's the longest side, whichever you like to think of it. And we've been given that one. We haven't been given this one and we're not trying to find it. So I'm not going to label that up. We know it's the adjacent, but I'm not going to label it because it might just confuse me. Um, right, so we've got O and H. So, so... So, there we go. Um, this is the one that we're talking about, isn't it? I like to write these like this because they're already triangular. So I can very easily see that as a formula triangle without having to do anything else to it. Okay, and what this triangle tells me is that if I'm trying to find O, which I am, then we do the sine of the angle multiplied by the hypotenuse. So that's all I have to do. The sine of 42 degrees, and then we multiply that by the hypotenuse, which is 9.3. 9.3. Okay, and if we do that, oh, and before I do that, your calculator will probably put a bracket in there. Okay, why are you putting this in? Close it again here because otherwise you'll get the wrong answer. Right, so let's do that sum now. Okay, so for that I get 6.2229146. Uh, okay, and a bit more. Now, they've asked uh, for this answer to be given to three significant figures. So I find the, the third significant figure, which is 1 to this one. Okay. And I look at the one number next to it there, which is a 2. So that 2 there doesn't have the power, does it? It's not big enough to round this one up. So this will stay as a number 2. So we've got 6.22 then, centimetres. OK, that's the trigonometry question done. Yeah, now this one is a... I quite like these. We've been given five numbers here. Um, but it says... There's actually six, okay, there are actually six numbers have a mean of five. Okay, there's five of them listed here, and then the, the other one is x. I'm going to put x on the end here, and that's what we need to find. We need to find out what x is, and all they've given us is this mean of five. Now, we work out the mean, don't we? So, you know, just write down what we know. We know how to work out the mean of, of, a, num of a list of numbers. We just, we add them up. And then we divide by how many there are, don't we? Okay. Now, if we do that, let's see, we get... Um, to add them up, then, we do 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Okay. So we've got 20 plus x. So I can write that as 20 plus x there. And now we divide by how many there are. Well, there are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay? So, and we know that this equals five because it says the mean is five. Right? Now, all I need to do now is rearrange this. We know how to rearrange formulas. We've already done it on this, on this exam paper. Um, so we want to get x on its own. So our aim here is to get x on its own and everything else on the other side. So, we need to get rid of this 6 first. Always deal with 
if you've got something on the bottom like this and you need to get rid of it, do that first, okay? So I'm going to multiply all of this um, on this side of the equation by uh, 6, okay? And then I'm going to multiply this side of the equation by 6 as well to keep everything balanced. And if I do that, this and this will cancel out. And I'll be left with 20 plus x on this side, and I'll be left with 30 on this side. Now I just need to remember our aim is this to get x on our own, x on its own. So now I need to take away 20 from both sides. Okay, and if I do that, those will cancel, and I'm left with x equals 30 minus 20 is 10. So x equals 10. Okay. Okay, question 23. The length of a fence is 137 metres, correct to the nearest metre. Write down the lower bound and the upper bound for the length of the fence. Now, okay, so we've got 137 here, and this has been rounded, okay? So it must have been either smaller or bigger. So we've got a smaller value here and a bigger value and what they're saying is, what's the lowest possible value that it could have been before it was rounded? And what's the biggest value it could have been before it was rounded? Okay. Now then, um, well, let's have a think about this. If this has been rounded, okay, then that must mean that we must have had more digits to start with. So we're going to have to put a decimal point in, aren't we? We're gonna, it's going to be um, point something. Okay, now if we think about it, if I start with 136, okay, if I go 136.3, okay, would that round to 137? No, it would round to 136, wouldn't it? Okay, right, if that was 4 there, so it's 136.4, would that round to 137? No, still not big enough. Okay, so make it five. And now, okay, this would now round to 137, wouldn't it? Because this is five or more. So if we rounded this to the nearest meter, then uh, this would round to 137. Okay, so this is the lowest possible value that it could have been before it was rounded. Now, what we've done here, if you notice, what we've actually done is we've taken away, we've actually subtracted 0 0.5. Haven't we? We've taken 0 0.5 away from 137 and we've ended up with 136.5. Now the upper limit must be the same distance away. Um, because these must be the same size, these gaps here must be the same. Okay, so I'm going to add 0 0.5 to find out what my upper limit is. So it'll be 137. Okay. Now some people get worried about this one because they realise that if you actually round 137.5 to the nearest metre, you will actually get 138 because the 5 will round the 7 up. Okay. Um, we know this, we know that uh, it can't exactly equal 137.5, but we don't worry about that because um, we understand that that's the case. Um, so the lower limit is 136.5 and this upper limit is 137.5 and as I say all we've done is we've taken the uh, this number and we've subtracted 0.5 and then we've added 0.5 to find out what the upper limit was okay um, I think we'll do question 24 on the next video